Solidity Compiler and Versioning. Solidity is a high-level programming language used to write smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. It's known as high-level because it's the code that you and I as developers can read and write. Solidity is also a statically typed language, which means that each type of a variable must be specified when the code is written. We'll discuss these types later in this section. But now, let's take a look at the Solidity compiler. The Solidity compiler is a tool that converts the Solidity code into machine code. The version of the compiler you use is significant because different versions may have new features, bug fixes, or even changes that can break your code. To keep things organized, the Solidity team follows a versioning scheme called semantic versioning, where the first number represents the major version, the second number represents the minor version, and the last one, patches or bug fixes. Here is an example of how we specify the compiler version in a Solidity file. We start by writing pragma, then Solidity, and then the version. In this example, the pragma statement specifies the compiler version as 0.8.0 .0 or higher, indicated by the caret symbol. This means that the contract will only be compiled with a compiler version of 0.8.0 .0 or higher, and any attempt to compile it with a lower version will result in an error. If we took away the caret symbol, this would only allow the contract to be compiled with a version 0.8.0 .0 of the Solidity compiler. Solidity is in rapid development, that's why it's important for us to use the correct compiler for the code that we are writing. It is recommended to always use the latest version of Solidity to take advantage of the new features, bug fixes, and to avoid any breaking changes. If you want to know more about versions and the breaking changes between minor releases up until this point, you can go to the soliditylang.org website. Here it is. And if you go to the docs.soliditylang.org, here we can see the latest version is this. Now, if we go down, there's a section where you can see the breaking changes between versions 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 7, and 8. Another thing to note with the documentation website is that this version, although this is the latest one, I need to make sure that at the bottom, if I click on the version over there, we can see I can select different versions and the documentation will adapt and change to that version. So it's important to always be on the latest stable release. So make sure that you are on the stable release and then you will have the most up-to-date information on the documentation.